In tonight's Dollars and Cents, the holidays can be a wonderful and expensive time of year. One thing hitting your budgets hard is shipping. In fact, FedEx and UPS charge more for shipping from October to January. And don't forget all that time and energy you spend getting to a carrier and waiting in line. Here at ABC 10, we stand for you, and I found some ways to help you take the sticker shock out of shipping fees. This is our Super Bowl. Sign, sealed, and ready to be delivered. The clock is ticking to send your holiday cards and packages. And we are already very busy. The U.S. Postal Service says it processed nearly 12 billion pieces of mail last holiday season. On average, it took two and a half days to deliver. People are already tracking and expecting a pretty quick turnaround on those parcels. So, ship as soon as possible. The longer you wait, the more it will cost you, even though Christmas is on a Monday this year. I know that last weekend people will want to try and, and mail their packages, but if you mail it on a Saturday, the only way to get it there would be express mail. Pay attention to the deadlines. For FedEx ground five-day shipping, the last day to ship is Friday, December 15th. For UPS, if you want to do three-day shipping, the deadline is December 19th. For the United States Postal Service, your ground shipping and first class mail deadline is December 16th. We've got new sorting machines. We have uh, increased daily processing capacity. We've got approximately 70 million. Uh, there's, we move about 95% of our volume on reliable ground transportation. Remember to double check your membership or loyalty programs for some discounts. AAA, AARP, American Express, and USAA offer deals on shipping. You can also find discounts on this website, PirateShip.com. Another way to save time and money is to reuse all those old boxes and bubble wrap from that stuff you order online. It'll also help you reduce waste. Just be sure to take off any old address labels. Avoid shipping mistakes that'll cost you time and money. Definitely have your boxes packaged properly, labeled properly. And if you're thinking it might be raining, make sure the ink that you're using on the type of box that you have won't smear. Ah, so much to do. It's such a busy time. <laughs> but remember, FedEx, UPS, and the U.S. Postal Service, they are closed Christmas Day. Okay, so what about <laughs> online shopping, right? Everybody's mm -hmm. doing that yep. these days. Do we know? I, do, I know some people do offer free shipping, right? Yeah, they do. And that's another way to save on shipping, just as long as you stay within your budget. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned this because some retailers only offer free shipping if you spend a certain amount. So keep that in mind, right? Try and do some math. Also, if you're sending gifts to people far away, consider buying their gifts online and having the retailer ship it to them directly. And if you're able to give gifts in person, you can save some money and time by ordering online and then picking it up in store or curbside in person. So uh -huh. some tips and tricks to help you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do this year. I think mm -hmm. what we did was we ordered online, we sent them to all one place. Yes. And because I'm traveling home this year, uh -huh. I'll just pick them up from there and do, you know. Yeah, and then you'll save also mm -hmm. from having a bulky suitcase as yes. well. Yes, yes, so. can't beat that. <laughs> well,